All right, guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, my name's TJ. Welcome to Kayak USA. And Merry Christmas. If my calculations are correct, this video should actually drop on Christmas Day. So I hope you guys had a great Christmas morning. I hope you have a great new year. Today's video is gonna be a fun one. It's gonna be one that we've done in the past. Years ago, I did a kayak wrap video on my Hobie PA-12, the first banana boat I had before the 14. And I did it in a American flag wrap way back then. And it turned out pretty good. I did like it. I think the guy who bought that kayak from me still has that same wrap on it now, still runs that, that same American flag graphic down the side. But this week I am going to wrap my new boat, my green machine here. And I went with a new style wrap and I, I got it from the same company that I got my last wrap from because they're, the, gra the wraps there are great. And that company is called Elite Choice Graphics. You can find their stuff at EliteChoiceGraphics.com. And you can customize your own wrap for your kayak. And you can buy these wraps for any kayak on the market. They, you can go in there and design them or you can go through his, he's got a whole page by page of different style wraps and different colors and different brands. And you can send him your logos and he'll put logos and stuff on them. So that's what I did. I designed my own wrap, but I kept it really simple. I wanted it to match my Toyota Tacoma, but I also wanted to be able to put my sponsor stickers on here after the wrap was on. So I kind of went plain Jane with it, and I'm gonna show you really quick. And the way we're gonna do this video this week is I'm gonna show you the wrap, kind of go over it with you, and then I'm just gonna set the camera up and probably throw on, I might even throw some Christmas music on instead of that cheesy YouTube stuff y'all used to hear. But, I'm just gonna do the wrap. And the main reason I'm gonna film it that way instead of kind of talking my way through step by step is because it's really cold outside and I want this stuff to stick really good. It's cold in my garage right now and I'm gonna have some heaters running in here and they're really loud. It'll mess up the audio anyway. And I figured instead of me trying to yell to you guys throughout a video over some loud heaters that are running, I might as well just show you what I'm doing and I'll film the content as I put it on and kind of maybe show it to you throughout the video. So I went with a plain Jane setup, like I said, and when you get a wrap from them, it's gonna be just like this. It's gonna, I think it's uh, 12 inches tall for each side and you'll get it and you'll have to cut that white line. You see this big old white line down the middle? You'll need to cut that white line because this is for each side of your boat but I didn't have anything put on the front. I didn't have anything put on the back. I wanted just the logo that I designed and sent them for the side. I'm gonna show it to you, it turned out really good. I just hope that I don't mess it up trying to put this wrap on myself here in the garage because like I said, it is cold. I'm gonna let it get really warm in the shop before I start trying to stick this stuff. I'll, I'll spend most of my time trying to clean up the kayak. Oh look, I knew I was gonna have it upside down. Check out the design that I went with. I kind of just combined a Hobie logo that I found with my logo. Can y'all see that on camera? Ooh, check it out. <laughs> I'm trying to stretch it out without crinkling it. But all it is is it's Hobie, fi it's Hobie Fishing and it's got my patch design logo and you'll be able to see it better once we get it on the side of the boat. I'm gonna roll it back up before I start crinkling it. But all I'm gonna do is first is I'm gonna set this wrap in the floor. I'm gonna cut this white line right down the middle and then I'm gonna start cleaning off the Hobie, get everything ready to start sticking this on. And I hope that it turns out good. And after this is on, I've reached out to most of my sponsors and I'm getting all their graphic. Uh, either I'm gonna have them printed myself to go on here or they're sending me their logos to put on here. So I plan on putting all of my sponsored logos and stuff on the back of the kayak. And then my main side is just gonna be like this to match the truck. I think it's gonna look good against that green. I've already got a black and gray theme going and this should line up and, and look pretty good. I hope, as long as I don't butcher this install. So without further ado, here's some cheesy music. Let's get this wrap put on.
All right, guys, so the wrap is completely finished. Well, not completely. I'm still waiting on a few uh, of my sponsor's decals to come in. As you can see, I've waited. This is actually a few days after I just did that install with you guys because I was waiting on my registration decals to come in, my sponsor stickers, and I still got a lot more on the way. Uh, Yak Gadget, Yak Attack, Shop Carls. I've got all of those decals still coming, and they're going to go across the back back there. But what do you guys think so far? I'm gonna walk you around the kayak as it is right now, but before I do, I kinda wanna help you guys out, some of you guys that plan on wrapping it or if you're thinking about adding a wrap to your kayak like this. A few tips and tricks that I've learned doing this. Now, mind you, this is the second kayak that I have ever wrapped. I've never wrapped, but this one and that other Hobie that I mentioned earlier with the American flag wrap, these are the only two that I've ever done, so by no means am I a expert at this, but there's a few tips and tricks that I've learned doing these last two that if you're gonna do it, you might wanna know. So the first thing is, is make sure your kayak is really clean. Uh, what I did was I took a razor blade and after I got all my stickers off and I, I cleaned it up really good, I just rubbed one hand down the kayak, took a razor blade and anywhere there's a scratch or a gouge or anything like that, there's gonna be some plastic sticking up that will show through if you don't get it off. So I just took a razor blade, trimmed that off Another thing is to wipe it down really good with some acetone, that's what I use. And you've seen me wipe the whole kayak down with acetone before I apply the decal. Uh, another thing is to use masking tape and pre-place it before you peel the back off of this uh, wrap. So you've seen me, I used masking tape and I made sure that I was center because you've got a little bit of leeway with these wraps. There's a little bit extra on each end and you want to center it up how you want it. You definitely don't want to just start peeling and sticking it because if you start at one end and you don't you know, pre-mock it up, you could get to the other end and realize that you were way too far over and you don't want to get down there and have you know, three or four inches short of wrap material. So you want to make sure you can cover the whole side. Just mock it up with some masking tape. Once it's in the position you want it, what I do is I start at one end and you've seen me peel the back off of the wrap and I would peel it probably 10 inches uh, you know, to 12 inches at a time. And I wouldn't rub the whole wrap down. I would just take and rub the center of the wrap and just get it to where it sticks. That way you know it's in the position it's supposed to be in and you can run all the way down the, the side of your kayak. Once you get all the way to the end of peeling and sticking it right in the center, then I started working the top. And I would just, I would stick it right in here to begin with and then I would just work it all the way up and then get everything out from the top and then I would start at one end and just kind of gradually work my way down. Now, since these wraps do curve, you know, these kayaks have to curve, you're gonna get to some points where you're gonna have some little crinkles and stuff and you can use a heat gun like you've seen me do and heat it up and kind of work it out. Now, by no means is this perfect. I've got bubbles and crinkles and stuff like that and it, it's gonna show. It really shows when you do a flat color like this. So my advice, if you are gonna do this and it's your first time, Pick out a pattern, you know, pick out some sort of camouflage or something that's got a bunch of graphics in the background. It'll really help hide a lot of the mistakes. If you do a solid color like this, you're going to see the mistakes and you'll, you'll see some on mine and you'll see anything that you leave on the kayak too. It will, it will definitely show through any scratches or gouges. It's going to show through, but at the end of the day, it's just a big sticker. Any of you guys can do this. It's not hard. Uh, once you just sit down, just make sure that the temperature in your shop or your garage or wherever you're putting your wrap on at, make sure it's not too cold. You want it to be 60, 70, somewhere in there and up. That way you can kind of manipulate the, the wrap a little bit. And you can work this wrap. What you guys don't know is this wrap is actually breathable. So you can like, what I mean by that is if you get a big bubble on this wrap, you can't see it, but there's lots and lots of holes, tiny holes in this wrap. And you don't have to try to work that bubble all the way to the edge to get it out like you would do like window tint or something like that. This, if you can work a bubble in one spot, you can just make it disappear right there where it's at. What I suggest is if you get to a place where you've got like a big air bubble, split it in half with your little thing that you get. And you get this with the wrap too. You get this little squeegee, it's got a little felt end on it. And if you get a big bubble, just cut it in half with your squeegee and then you can just work it and that bubble will disappear. You just gotta be patient and take your time. It took me a few hours to get both sides of this wrap done and I think it turned out great. Is it professional? No, not, not, by, not by a long shot, but I'm happy with it. 
I think it's gonna look really good, especially once I get all my sponsor stuff on here. And what's cool about doing these wraps, guys, is you get to have your own customized kayak. There is not another kayak in the world that looks like mine at all. And you get to make that your own. And not to mention, you get to make it match what you want. Like I really wanted my Pro Angler to match my Tacoma, but they don't make a cement gray Hobie Pro Angler and they never will. So I did the best thing I could is put a wrap down the side. Now it should look pretty good, you know, when I'm pulling it to the lake behind my truck. But anyway, I hope those tips help you out. I'm gonna grab the camera, walk you guys around it, point out a few things and, you know, hopefully, uh, if you were on the fence about being able to do this yourself, you watch this video, you might be able to order you a wrap and do it yourself. And if you do install a wrap after watching my video, tag me in your pictures. Take some pictures of it on Instagram and tag Kayak USA. I would love to see what you guys come up with, your designs and how well your wrap looks versus my wrap. Because <laughs> mine is not perfect by no means, but I'm happy with it. I'm gonna rock it for the 2024 season. And yeah, so let me show you guys the wrap really quick. All right, I'll start at this end down here. And I'm gonna try to show you any, any mess ups or anything that I did that, that way you might be able to avoid them. But uh, one question I know I'll get asked and I'll hit on it really quick is this top line right here. What you want to do is don't try to line your graphic up with the line of your boat and run it down and expect it to be perfect. Because if you focus on that, you're gonna end up with some major crinkling issues and stuff trying to form it around your kayak. What I suggest you do is you got kind of two options. In my first video, I showed you guys how to run the cut tape, like Auto Body uses uh, cut tape and you put the cut tape straight down the side of your kayak, you lay your graphic over it or you wrap over the cut tape and then when you're done, you peel that you know little cutting, I think it's kind of like fishing line that's inside of it, but it cuts your wrap all the way down and it'll give you a nice straight line. I didn't do that this time. What I did this time, and it's not perfect. I mean, if you look really close at my line, it's, it's wavy because I, I tried to freehand some of it before I, you know, smartened up and, and grabbed some masking tape. But what I did was, and I don't think it's in the video, but after I got the wrap stuck completely how I wanted it, I took some a roll of masking tape and I started at one end of my kayak and I just pulled it on top of my wrap with the edge of the masking tape on a straight line all the way down. And then I took my razor blade and lightly touched the top of the masking tape line and just drug it down until I got me a straight line. But as you can see, and I'm gonna show you some of my little crinkles. Can y'all see, let's see. And it's hard to tell in here because of the glare, I get that. But there, there is some crinkles, there is some little nicks, but once you get you know, about a foot away from it, you're not gonna see it. And I'll show you all the way down through here. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. But like I said, by no means is it perfect. And you can see every little blemish, like I'm trying to really focus in on some of these little air bubbles that I am now noticing that I left in here. And what is cool about this is these air bubbles will go away on their own over time. As you take it outside and the sun hits it and it heats up, if you've got any that you miss, they will go away. And I've got a scratch that was on my kayak that shows through, I think it's right here, yeah. Can y'all see that? I'm trying to get the light just right on it. This is not in the wrap. This is an actual gouge that was in my boat and it kind of shows through there. And here's where I'm sticking my sponsor stickers all the way down the side. And I'm probably just gonna go to like right in here with my sponsors. I've got a nice Yak Attack decal coming, uh, Yak Gadget, my Newport Vessels logo is coming. They sent it out yesterday. So I'm gonna have more, more on the side back here. It almost looks like a race car the way I got that wrap looking. I'll show you the other side. Let's see if I can spin this kayak around. And here's the other side. Well, sorry, I'm working this gimbal backwards. But it turned out pretty good. There's not enough light over here to really show you this but side. This side's got some good light on it. You can really see how well it looks from back here. Because the further away, the more professional it looks. <laughs> <laughs> so let me know in the comments below what you guys think about the kayak wraps. Is it worth it? Let me know if you have plans on doing your own. And to my channel members, what do you guys think about getting to see this video before everybody else? YouTube just added that. So now I can upload my weekly upload videos that are always come out Monday at six o'clock for, you know, public on my channel. 
but now YouTube made it where my members get to watch it early. So you kind of get early access to my weekly videos. It was pretty neat. I like that YouTube added that. I think it's gonna work out really well, especially for my channel members. If you wanna become a channel, channel member, it's $4.99 a month and it just that just goes to me and it helps me to be able to produce these videos weekly for you guys. And it kind of boosts me up to be able to eventually do this full time. Right now I work a regular job and I do this YouTube stuff on the side, but eventually I would love to be able to put out two or three videos a week for you guys, do some really cool fishing content, kayak content, camping content. I'd love to just be able to film this content and put it out there for you guys. And, and that's what those membership fees go to. So if you wanna become a member, it's really cool. Now you get early access to my videos like the rest of my members do. It's $4.99 a month, five bucks. You're not gonna miss it. It'll go to a good cause, I promise. And yeah, so I am going to start my next video today. And I know a lot of you guys probably seen it when I just did the walk around because I forgot that I had it on the kayak, but I am fixing to start the live scope install I just got it yesterday. I'm kind of mocking everything up right now, fabricating a few things to make it, you know, customized to my boat. But yeah, I'm fixed to install the new LVS 34 live scope system finally on my kayak. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe because I'm gonna be doing a full live scope install on this today. I'm filming it today, so you should see that video probably next week. And if you're a member, you're probably gonna get to see that video a few days early. So I appreciate you guys watching. Share this video if you can on Facebook, share it with your friends. Let me know what you think about this kayak wrap and I will catch you guys Monday at six o'clock. Happy New Year's, peace.